But more tangibly, the first thing I think needs to happen is they need to build a new city. And if you look into the Venus Project, this is one of the things they've advocated, mm -hmm. to show people what could be if they wanted it to be. So you have everything self-sustaining. You have everything made out, of, made out of the most prime materials. Granted, we're still going to have to do this within the monetary system, so there'd have to be a lot of financial backing to do it. Mm -hmm. But it would set this precedent to show, hey, this can be done. We can have an environment where there's virtually no waste. Everything's self-sustainable. So essentially, we have to create an example mm -hmm. to show the world what can be done because most people have no idea what's really technically feasible. Mm -hmm. And the technology we have today is, technology is really our divinity, so to speak. It's what we have. It's what we create to make our lives easier. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that that replaces other forms of you know, spirituality, but tangibly, the utility of technology is what creates freedom for us, mm -hmm. nothing else. And there's nothing else that we that I can think of. Money and capitalism, they are they are tools to get through to make people a little bit more free, but at the cost of subservience and mm -hmm. and you know this and this vast type of you know class based division. Everyone who's wealthy does it at the cost of somebody else. Very simply, it's, there's a balance to it, and there's many reasons for that. We need to eliminate that and get an environment designed where people actually live together and they begin to establish a different train of thought, a different consciousness where we'll get to a point where people will, first of all, technology will be so advanced that there'll be no monotonous jobs. No one's behind a cash register. Well, there's no money, so there's no reason for that anyway. There would only be technical issues that would have to be dealt with. You maintain the environment and eventually people would do that because they want to contribute. They understand what their role is. Not that they want reward from it, not that they want to take. Mm -hmm. They want to give because they realize that giving is what the, what the system is. Mm -hmm. And it's much more natural to the human condition, I think, than just mm -hmm. taking. And they realize something more important. In this system, it's very primitive because their survival is associated with taking and, and advantage and getting a job and keeping it and manipulating the environment for your self-interest. That is only, only beneficial to a certain degree. And that's what we've seen because of the homelessness, mm -hmm. because of the wars, because of the poverty, because of the disease epidemics that don't get any treatment, the death of, of millions of people in Africa that no one cares about. This is the cost of this. So it's in their own self-interest in a different way mm -hmm. to actually contribute to society. And that's really the awakening that, that needs to happen. That's what the whole the entire element is completely about with the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist Movement, which is a grassroots means to try and get this information out there, get this understanding out there, and get people motivated on a global level to move forward in this direction. If this could happen and, and we could all work together for a project such as like the, the Venus Project, but, but I think unfortunately the people who are in control at the top have got such like ingrained and in, you know they have such power. Sure. And every day you're seeing them take more power. Well, in the short time, we still have to do the general activism. Yeah. We still have to combat these things on a, on a fundamental level, mm. um, and it's a traditional level, traditional protest level, traditional activism level. But I think over time, the power elite is only as powerful as the people that support their system, which is why I advocate at the end of the new film to start boycotting different attributes of the mm. system. For, for instance, if no one ever joined the military ever again, universally, there'd be no war. If they didn't have the military, there would be no grounds for so many different things. They would have no means of control. Absolutely. And then the police yeah, would eventually agree. go too. Mm -hmm. Awareness would shift in the human, in the human mind where people would, that are police officers or, or military men would say, well, wait a minute, why am I supporting the system when I realize in the long run I'm actually hurting myself? And and others, your family and people are close well, course, to you, yeah. Of course. So I, who are you fighting against? We're all we're all walking around on the same planet. Right. And even more profoundly, there really is no they. I I really believe. I mean, there are obviously they in a temporal sense. There's a there's a an, an arrogant group of people that mm -hmm. have maintained power for long periods of time. They continue to do so. But there's we still support that. There's really only us. And as long as we focus on the they on a cognitive level, on a psychic level, so to speak they will always exist. People give them the power. Yes, they, they give it up and, and they give support up, yeah. the systems that have been created by them. Mm. But it's actually us. So that's one of the more cataclysmic uh, things that people don't really realize on the fundamental level, that there really is no they. So those, I, I don't advocate activists that can perpetuate this, you know, we have to battle the new world order or battle this and that. They don't really get it. 
as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 look, I don't like that. I think uh, they have to realize there's a reason why peace protesters are met with guys with automatic weapons, because they're waiting for the peace protesters to do something to bring them to the level of the men with the automatic weapons so they can use it. Mm -hmm. They want the conflict. So conflict isn't, isn't is going to resolve anything. Yeah. So the more we battle something, the more the battle's going to go on. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, something that people need to think about.